Okay, water signs. So this week we are looking at um, Jupiter going into Gemini. It's it's very yin and yang, guys. The astrology is very positive and negative. I don't think it's going to be one way. Um, Jupiter does not like being in Gemini. So uh, let's see what happens here for Pisces. Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What do they need to know for Jupiter going into Gemini? Somebody might be finding love. If you've already found somebody, you might be settling down with this person. You might be choosing this person over somebody else, something of that nature, okay? We do have good luck here and good fortune. You have an a earth sign in your energy that you need to find some sort of balance with. Um, they're, they're unhappy with you, Pisces, for whatever reason. We also have Sagittarius energy and Virgo energy. What is this about? What is this about? So you might find yourself else involved with multiple people, or again, this doesn't have to be romantic, but you have a lot of people in your energy, and it seems like, you know, some might some might be happier with you than others, okay? The other ones are going, you know, I'm not really sure about this. Um, it's saying to have resilience because it's going to be kind of an emotional roller coaster for you. You are divinely protected. I do see you moving forward with something. This could be a creative project. This could be anything, absolutely anything. A hummingbird would be relevant, so you might want to Google what that means spiritually. You will be walking away from a connection during this time as well, Pisces. Again, it doesn't have to be a romantic connection, though. For many of you, it will be. I also think that you are reevaluating what you want in a connection. So you, you're kind of looking around going, you know, I really liked... The way this person treated me i really didn't like the way this person treated me and i would like to find some sort of balance with somebody in the future or with your current partner but i really don't think this is a reading for somebody who's like you know deeply devoted to somebody right now i also think the reason why you're walking away from certain situations is because you don't like the drama Yeah, the number seven is going to be relevant to you, okay? So seven weeks, seven days, seven months, or in numerology, number seven is kind of like being a loner, spending some time alone, maybe um, meditating, going for a walk in nature, um, just spending time alone. We have an air sign in your energy as well that's going to cause a tower moment for you. Why is this for Pisces? Why is this? It could have to do with your stability. It could have to do with your housing. It could have to do with, I'm sorry, I'm actually sweating. Um, it could have to do with uh, any sort of assets. So maybe you have a business partner that you're not really seeing eye to eye with. Maybe you have um, a loved one that you know wants you to move out, something of that nature, okay? Continue. Um, Pisces, you do have uh, a second earth sign popping up here, and I'm not sure you know who they are yet. Yeah, it could be a future love connection. Interesting. Okay, Pisces. Continue. What else do we need Pisces to know when Jupiter goes into Gemini? You are in the reverse, Pisces, with this with this air sign, you definitely have some sort of beef with an air sign. This could have been somebody you were romantically um, attached to or business partner, okay? They're spying on you, Pisces. Um, they're trying to get, like, some sort of information off of, you know, the internet or something about you. Continue the Pisces. You may have a deep conversation with this new person that you meet as well. I feel like they have a healing energy. So if you've been down um, recently, if you felt like overwhelmed by people, this person's going to definitely like, you know, bring you some sort of peace. Continue. Pisces, I see you hiding something as well. I'm not sure why that is. There is some sort of financial stability and security coming your way as well when Jupiter goes into Gemini. Okay, now you may be jumping into something without really thinking about it during this period of time, too. Let's look at what that is. 
oh, if you are not looking to get pregnant, please, 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 please be careful um, or get somebody pregnant. If it's not that, be careful of any like one night stands, flings of that nature, okay? Because I think you're, you, you would regret it. Continue for Pisces. What else do you want Pisces to know? Getting out of your funk, <clears throat> having some sort of gratitude that again, I'm not saying you're not gracious, you know, but but sort of having like this this aha moment of things aren't really quite as bad as I've been making them out to be. Um, we do have the Ace of Swords in the reverse, though. Why is that for Pisces? You may be ghosting somebody or not speaking to them anymore or vice versa. This would be could be a fire sign doesn't have to be they're coming out as a leo again doesn't have to be um but i see them quite upset about it quite upset about it continue for pisces cutting ties so you will be letting go of somebody at this time working on your income your career your focus definitely if it's a creative venture um, somebody's investing some money be careful because that is not going to go well it is not okay so maybe maybe hold off for a while on, on doing that and wait till the energy changes um, if you are like investing your money in a business that might go better uh, but you would not see the income right away Pisces Sun Moon and rising what else do you want Pisces to know you have good fortune coming this is something divine. This is something you don't see. Okay, this is this is like you know. I don't know if you ever watch any in Destiny. Here's on the bottom of the deck. I'm gonna take that because I really like it. Um, this is actually really nice. I'm seeing keys everywhere for you, Pisces. So maybe you're getting a new car, a new house. Um, you know, uh, it's some it's something's holding a key for you. And with all this success, all this financial and um, career success, I do think it might be related. Um, hey, could you not? Gomez, your morning routines are a lot. Anywho, um, I do think that this is going to be a situation where, I don't want to say like win the lottery, but it's something like that, something you just don't see happening, and then it just appears one day, okay? Just like whatever, whatever that looks like for you. It doesn't have to be money. But like, let's say you did want to start a business and then you find like the perfect business partner. Maybe you, you um, have been looking for a while for a new place to live and you weren't able to afford it before and all of a sudden you find like the perfect place, okay? The Pisces, sun, moon, and rising. What do you want Pisces to know? You might be feeling like you have um, a, like more power lately, okay? Your mo emotions will be balanced. Um, you're going to feel like, you know, you can take down whoever's like going against you. You can you can nourish people again. Um, like your energy won't be so drained. That's so funny. And we see banish a curse and let go. There is somebody obviously that does not really care for you, Pisces. But I, I feel like you can return it back to sender. Okay. All right. Pisces, sun, moon, and rising. What else do you want? Pisces to know during this transit financial success something you don't see coming so this you know again you know maybe you start your own business or maybe you have a business and it just takes up uh, you know goes crazy um it it I'm seeing cancer in your energy as well Pisces so you may have a cancer sign in your energy for whatever reason okay um yeah, I, I'm a Pisces and my son's coming back for a little bit. So, I mean, he's a cancer sign. Could be could be something as simple as that. Pisces, sun, moon, and rising. Somebody who's very negative towards you is going to be um, regretful. Okay, regretful. You have a fire sign here that it wants to say something to you or come towards you in some sort of manner. And, and they're coming towards you unlike they had in the past okay so whatever that is they may even make some sort of proposal to you 
could be business, could be um, some sort of idea, some sort of creative idea. And they, this, you'll know who this person is because they look at you as like, um, like fondly, you know, like they look at you as like a, just a decent, decent person, but also like, um, like cute. They see you as like very cute. Pisces, sun, moon, and rising. You may be having some struggles with an Aries sign. It doesn't have to be if it's not an Aries. It's just somebody who really um, is not <clears throat> is not unwavering, you know, sort of personality. Um, they may be making decisions here. You're, you would be involved. So whether it's travel or what else could it be? It almost looks like they're picking up and moving, but for some reason you have something to do with that, okay? Maybe they're asking for your advice. Sun, I'm seeing very long hair, Pisces. I'm not really sure why that is. So, so I do think you're hiding something, Pisces. You are hiding something. I don't know what this is. What is Pisces hiding? Something you know. You're not sharing some sort of information, Pisces, and I'm not really sure what, I guess it's going to vary person to person, maybe that's why I'm not getting a straight answer, but um, with the Ten of Wands here, I feel like it's a bit of a burden to you to be concealing it. Continue. That is one thing I think is so funny about Pisces. We seem like open books, like we just have the gift of gab and everybody thinks we are just, you know most open honest people but we hide so much <laughs> we hide so much stuff it's crazy Pisces Sun Moon and Rising what else do they need to know yeah I still see you coming to some sort of aid of somebody and it, it feels like an Aries it doesn't have to be okay you are coming to their aid you are helping them through something during this time Pisces, sun, moon, and rising. I do see you getting some sort of message from somebody as well. This would have been somebody that else walked away from you or has been watching you from afar. I feel like it's one of those circumstances where they're, they may be texting you or writing you an email and then erasing it and going back and trying again. It's going to be pretty powerful, whatever they say. And I do feel like there is somebody here... You may, I still feel like you had a relationship with this person at some point, okay? All right, continue. For those Pisces that are very well, that would be the majority of you, with the gifts, any sort of intuitive gifts, any sort of clairs, um, I do think around the full moon, which is this week, you're going to um, feel a, a, like a surge where you, you feel like it even more powerful, like that sort of thing as well. Continue. Why is Pisces in the reverse? Again. Again. Why? A lot of options are opening up to you, especially when it comes to like love affairs, things of that nature, and I feel like you are overwhelmed by it. Okay. Trying to decide whether or not like you want to even get else involved like romantically or trying to decide if you even want to get involved with like some sort of new um, career venture, uh, moving up in a company, something of that nature. I see a trip happening for you here. It concerns me. This trip concerns me a little bit here. It, I don't know why I'm getting this almost borderline weird energy from it. Don't go after my card, sir. I'm not taking that. What is this trip about for Pisces? I pull trip again. Willpower. Slow. Slow. 
It might be to go see somebody, somebody that played you before. Again, I don't know if it's necessarily... This is somebody that's had a lot of people um, in their energy. And I think that they're, they're starting to settle down and you may need to go see them for whatever reason. Now, this doesn't, again, have to be romantic. This could be, you know, a family member that just kind of played with you emotionally quite a bit. Or um, an old friend, something of that nature. The Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What else do they need to know? making a decision about a union you're going through some sort of rebirth okay so I feel like the the people that you used to be attracted to or you used to want something with that's going to kind of fall to the you know fall of, I don't know what I'm saying that's going to change for you you're going to go through some sort of rebirth you're going to see that that, that maybe they're not even your type anymore you know they definitely didn't emotionally fulfill you. Continue. Pisces. Finding some sort of balance. This travel is going to be significant. I don't know why. I'm not really sure. Pisces, else you're going to go through some sort of heartbreak or or you're going to put somebody through some sort of heartbreak here. But I feel like it was an honest, it doesn't feel like, like you, if it's you, you didn't purposely set out to hurt this person. It's just that you are now realizing that, um, you know, it wasn't the right connection for you. Um, if you are getting your heart broken, it's, it's divine. Okay, you are not supposed to be with this person and, and you know, the universe is just finally showing you why. Three more cards for Pisces since my dog wants to be annoying. We'll end it here. I always say that and I never end it. <laughs> okay, manifestation that doesn't come true because somebody's toxic. So Pisces, yeah, and no reconciliation. If there's somebody from your past that you're still hung up on, and it's not working out there's a reason okay you are being guided to get away from them um i would just take it as it is you know even if it hurts i would take it as it is could could be a capricorn doesn't have to be some sort of karmic justice coming your way that's going to fix things in your life okay and, and for those of you that were wondering if there was a third party situation, here's the story. Yes, this person was not faithful to you, okay? Um, however, I think that they tried to fix that, resolve that for the stability of the relationship. And it just, you know, again, like I said, I think you're being guided not to be um, romantically tied to this person anymore. And if this is a business partner, <clears throat> again you're just being they do, this person has to go they have to leave your life in order for you to move on and have some sort of um, sanity I don't know I don't know All right, I, I really want to end this Pisces but it just doesn't feel right ending it here overcome some sort of fear going through again this rebirth looks really good for you because I feel like it's not just healing but it's going to give you sort of a, a boost of energy as well Okay, and a big change. Scorpio, Scorpio is here as well. Okay, you might even be getting a gift from a Scorpio. Very strange. I don't know why I want to say that. All right, Pisces, I think I'm going to end it there, and uh, I hope this helps.